Hello fellow crafters. I want to share with you today how to make some fall leaves for your fall projects, your cards, your layouts. And I've got two different ways to show you and one is with watercolor paper and H2O's which is a water-based um, watercolor paint and the other way is with um, just tags and using distress stains and I'll start by showing you my inspiration this is a old sticker sheet that I've had in my stash I love fall and fall leaves so I wanted to share that with you these are my inspiration as you can see there's different tones in leaves like this one has like the orange and the green and then this one, if you look, there's like the little black specks in the leaves. And then I like that one. So you can make a variety of colors for what your project calls for. Or you can use a mix of colors like I did. What I did was is I purchased some watercolor paper. Any kind of watercolor paper works fine. This is just what I used here. This is the Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby and I just tore the paper out and started blending my colors and with the H2O's you have to get them wet spray them with water let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes let's see if we can see them 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and um, juicy then you're just going to play around let me show you some examples I'm not going to actually do it on video. I think it's just a lot faster video to show you what you can do. I'm sure there's tutorials out there showing you how to blend your paints, but I always start with the lighter or the darker colors or lighter colors then add my dark um, later on. And as you can see this one here has a little bit of the green, the orange, the red, and then on top of that I took some stencils and used some dilution sprays to give me some texture and then this one's the Tim Holtz um, dots um, stencil and I sprayed it with the um, the brown color dilution and then here you can barely see this yeah you can see that see how shiny that is that is the um, Tim Holtz um, Distress Paints in the copper and I used um, a smaller uh, round stencil for that so if you've got stencils you can get texture by using stencils on top of your um, um, colored watercolor paper here is another example this one's more greens and yellows and orange and I just kept playing until I got um, a few of them that I liked. And then here is the um, here is one that I already cut out for you to show you an example of what they look like. Now with these with the um, textured backgrounds, I used an embossing folder that I have it kind of looks like cracked glass if you have like a spider web or any kind of um, patterned um, um, embossing folder to give some kind of texture to your um, watercolor paper you can use that this one here is with the embossing folder to give it some texture can you see the texture in that? Aren't they pretty? I just love them. They turned out so nice. This one here is just, I use the scraps, so it'll probably get tucked behind something so you really won't tell, you know, that it was a scrap piece. <laughs> so that's one technique that um, I use. And here's the scraps of the leaves. I love to save them and use them to cut out punch out the smaller leaves that I have punches for so the, there's the scraps from that one then another way you can do if you don't have um, any watercolor paper or H2O's you can use distress stains but I do want to show you one more technique instead of using an embossing folder 
on this one I used a stamp and any kind of stamp you have and honestly this was from um, Tim Holtz uh, Joyful Songs collection and I used this one here it kind of looks like cracked glass so I used that one to give it um, a nice um, impression on there so it looks like the uh, leaves you know where they're drying out and cracking and that was done with the um, Distress Stain or Distressing Ink by Tim Holtz. This one here, the Embossing Ink. And the um, Black Soot and Distress Powder. So that's what I used for that to give it a nice aged look. And then another way you can use your tags, you know, your vanilla tags you can get. Um, I know MB Treasuristas, she sells these in her store. And here's my tag. Let me show you this one. And all you're going to do is just take any of your embossing stains. These are the ones that I've used for this one. This one's not marked. That one's called Brush Corduroy. Fired Brick, Spice Marmalade, and Crushed Olive. Any kind of um, inks that you have that are in the fall color fall family you can ink up your tag you can also distress it or you can run it through your embossing folder but you know you can also do you can do both and run it through the embossing folder so let me show you what that looks like when you have the uh, distressing and the embossing on it. So let me run this through my embossing. Now I have the Sizzix um, Vintage and, that I picked up for $20 at um, Michael's when they clearanced them and it works just fine. So let me show you this. See now it's got even more texture. It's like see the back of it and you know what you can do too is you can run this through your embossing folder then ink it up and then take some sandpaper over it and it'll bring out the um, the raised edges and it'll give you a nice texture and you can brush over that with some um, embossing um, I'm saying um a lot terrible embossing ink I brush it over it and then pour your um, powder on it and then dry it out so let me show you with the smaller leaves. I have the smaller leaves, the sh movers and shakers here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, maybe fold this in half. Let's see if I can get two of them. Let's see if I can manipulate it. Yes, I can. See? And all I'm going to need is two B plates get rid of my C plate or my A plate. I'm going to run this through. And I'm going to show you my beautiful leaves that I created. Aren't those beautiful? Now don't they look real? And look at this one. I love them. So that's my um, Teach Me Tuesday to show you how to make um, leaves for your projects using watercolor paper or your vanilla tags, H2O's, distress stains, and embossing folder and embossing inks. So have fun. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.